No other public office, elected or appointed, affects the lives of children more than local Board of Education membership. The actions of school boards and how well they work as a team with their superintendent can have a significant impact on student achievement. Yet, in the midst of addressing budgets, facilities, and contract negotiations, many board members may lose sight of this important fact. Effective school governance can improve teaching and learning. Research proves it. Starting in the year 2000, the Iowa Association of School Boards, with the support of the National School Boards Association, conducted a decade-long research project on effective school boards. The study identified characteristics of school boards with higher levels of student achievement and how they lead their district towards higher performance. The conclusion? School board actions are a key part of a culture of improvement, and school boards can create conditions that promote student learning. The research arm of the National School Boards Association analyzed over 10 studies and reports on school board leadership, including several based on the Iowa Lighthouse Inquiry. The result is eight characteristics of effective school boards. Effective school boards make a commitment to high expectations for student achievement and to quality instruction, and they define clear goals toward that vision. Their members share common values about students' ability to learn, and they believe that the system can teach all children at high levels. Effective school boards are accountability-driven. They spend less time on operational issues and more time on policies to improve student achievement. They have a collaborative relationship with the staff and the community and they engage stakeholders in district goals. Members of effective boards understand data. They embrace it, even when the information is negative, and they use it to drive improvement. An effective school board aligns district resources, such as professional development, with district goals. The school board and administration respect their distinct administrative and policy-making roles, and they operate in a spirit of collaboration and mutual trust. The members of effective school boards participate in professional development, often as a team and sometimes with a superintendent. Through training, they build knowledge, shared values, and commitment for improvement. In 2013, a University of Montana study, the relationship between school board governance behaviors and student achievement further validated these findings. It cited several measures of board effectiveness. Setting high expectations for student achievement conducting board business in a responsible way, holding the administration and themselves accountable, working as a collaborative team with each other and the superintendent, and representing the community's aspirations. Significantly, the study measured board's practices against test scores, and it found a connection between a high-functioning school board and student achievement. In conclusion, Boards do play a role in student achievement, and their actions matter. The Iowa Lighthouse Inquiry is the seminal study on the linkage between the work of the local school board and student achievement. Along with other research, it does emphasize the importance of goal setting. A 2006 study found that an effective school board sets the tone for the entire school district from the central office to the classroom by focusing its goals on student achievement. And the effective board follows through by setting policies aligned to these goals, by monitoring the administration's progress towards achieving the goals, and by providing the necessary support and resources. In fact, the goals become a playbook not only for the board and the superintendent, but for principals, teachers, and students. Goal setting is a key work of local school boards, and I'm happy to point out that facilitating goal setting through a collaborative process is one of the valuable services that NJSBA can provide your board. A 1997 study stress that effective school boards hold the administration accountable for progress, but they do not engage in daily administration. The researchers found that a healthy board-superintendent relationship can have a positive impact on student achievement as measured by graduation rates, college admission rates, and test scores. 
While the Iowa research emphasized the qualities of effective school boards, some studies cite the danger signs of ineffective boards, and here are some examples. An overall lack of knowledge about district efforts to improve teaching and learning, not taking responsibility for advancing student achievement, blaming outside forces such as poverty, lack of parental support, lack of motivation for poor student performance, or pointing the finger at teachers, students, and their families, micromanaging, lack of communication with the superintendent, lack of a shared vision, and minimal board member training. Strengthening your board's focus on student achievement can start with one simple step. That is, devoting more time to the subject at each board meeting. The Iowa research bores this out in several areas. In part two of the Lighthouse Inquiry, Researchers worked with five pilot school boards. All five districts scheduled extra time to focus on student achievement. In three of the districts, the board increased the time spent on policy and student achievement from 16% to 37%. The results were positive. There were significant increases, as high as 90% in the number of staff and board members who could describe the district's goals for student achievement. In each district, there was a clear focus, from the boardroom to the central office to the classroom. That focus was on improving literacy. Significant gains in reading comprehension occurred at several grade levels as well. As you will see in the next part of our video presentation, New Jersey's local boards have much to be proud of when it comes to student achievement. But we also face challenges that will require a continued emphasis on how children learn and how they achieve. In nationwide measures of student achievement, New Jersey's public schools rank consistently high. The annual report by the respected publication Education Week ranks New Jersey schools number two among the 50 states in overall measures of school quality and educational resources. The National Assessment of Educational Progress, known as the nation's report card, has ranked New Jersey's fourth grade reading skills as second in the nation and its math scores at the top. The Kids Count Data Book, published annually by the Annie E. Casey Foundation, which is dedicated to children's well-being, ranked New Jersey second in the nation in education. Newsweek Magazine's recent compilation of America's top high schools included 51 in New Jersey, including seven in the top 20. Like all states, however, New Jersey faces serious educational challenges. These include addressing an academic achievement gap among various socioeconomic and racial ethnic groups, ensuring that all students are ready for college and the workplace. This will require a focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, as well as the arts, and effectively infusing technology into the classroom, which will require vision and planning. Local boards of education, through policy setting, goal setting, strategic planning, and even negotiations, have at hand the tools to ensure the success of all students. Our goal is to commit these efforts to quality instruction and academic achievement.